I'm Uta Frith. I'm Emeritus Professor of Cognitive Development, and I have been one of the founders of the Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience, and I'm really very, very proud of this. I was there right at the beginning when it all started, when Tim Shallis had this brilliant idea that we should get together and form first a virtual institute and very soon after a real institute, a geographical presence. I have been excited by uh, cognitive neuroscience um, for a long time. First, um, cognitive neuropsychology, and then it became possible not just to study interesting cognitive mechanisms in neurological patients via neuropsychological methods, but the brain imaging methods arrived slowly at first, but they did make a big bang. And to me, that was a huge expansion of the horizon of what could be done in psychology. And it was sort of like time to put behind this slightly tainted word psychology, which was sort of all encompassing lots of stuff which was not even experimental in any way, and go towards something that seemed much more like a proper science. So cognitive neuroscience was exactly the right thing, and an institute of cognitive neuroscience was just needed. Well, most of um, society's problems and also aspirations actually depend on our brains, on our minds. We really need to understand ourselves better to improve the way we live. There have been incredible improvements with technology, but our social life, our social interactions well, they happen almost without us knowing why and what, why we're doing what, why there are so many conflicts and wars, and why uh, um, also there is, on the other hand, so much uh, altruism and empathy and very good things. So we do need to understand the underlying mechanisms to um, do uh, everything we do at the moment much better. It is even the foundation of how we do other sciences. We do, we do it with our brains, there is no question about it. And we still do not yet understand how the brain works. So that is the future task of cognitive neuroscience. So I think that this is the century of brain and mind. This is the frontier. This is what we need to understand. And I think that a young person wanting to make a difference in the world could not do better than to start studying cognitive neuroscience.